Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Minecraft. Um, let me turn myself down there. Eh, up a little more. That's probably fine. Um, so I've been... I'm recording, right? Yep, sure am. You'd think I'd be a professional by now, but nope. I've been doing a lot of stuff. Lots of sand in that. Oh, we're out of sand. By you. Quite a bit more sand. Cool. So we've got a whole bunch of furnaces running. All to work on making that big, uh, the glass top to that thing. So. God, sorry. I'm just trying to think here. Been working. Um. On a lot of different projects. I've got entirely new projects that I don't even think I've voiced on stream. Not on stream. On camera. Um, the vines are growing nice. They now reach down 100 blocks, I think. Yeah. More than 100 blocks now, in fact. Hip. What I've been doing here is I've just been... Um, I redid the walls. You can kind of see how they're supposed to look. There we go. Now I can get up here easy. Um, you can see how they're supposed to look over there. But not all of them look like that, unfortunately. And I've just been uh, building. Building, building, building. I dug up another huge chunk of that desert I was in a couple episodes ago for that ASMR desert destruction. I'm never sure if people like those or not. They get more views than most of the episodes of this series. And yet, it's almost, I don't know. I don't even know if that's something to air out on camera. I've been recording more recently, which is good. I like recording, it keeps my mood up. My brother-in-law is back in town. A cat I've been mentioning on and off is uh, moving into the house. Although I have videos that I haven't posted from a few months ago when we were still fostering him. And when we thought that uh, he was a girl. So yeah. Been doing a lot better. How much more glass do I have? Lots of glass, okay. Do not think I will be using all of this glass, although I do wanna at least finish up getting this like encased. God. I know I can still touch it away, I just don't care. Let broken glass be a reminder of my failings. See, as soon as I get everything encased in glass, like as soon as I get the whole outside done, then I can start to work inward. And I feel like that'll be a little bit better for my encasement. I'll just do that. I imagine people come here to see me chill out and build stuff anyway. Whoever does watch. As I record this, my channel's just broken 5,000, nope, 10,000 views. It's not that far in the past. And I'm actually barreling towards 11,000, which is nice. A little salty that the reason that it blew up is because I posted a clip from someone else's uh, channel just as a little highlight but you know I was also a little salty when Femboy Hooters blew up so what do I know ultimately it's good for me which is nice 
Yeah, I've cleared a lot, a lot more of this. I'm also working on doing one of those big ass maps, the ones that like encompass the entire everything. I'm not exactly sure where to do it. I'm only working on the middle one right now, but I'll Google it and figure out how the helm's supposed to work. The nice thing is that I based every, like this map, the middle point is at zero, zero. And that's true for every other map as well. So I don't actually need to worry too much about getting the map to the right place. Or um, rather, I will, sorry, I don't know what I said there. It'll be easier to do the math to figure out where exactly I'm supposed to start the other maps. Wow, that was everything, huh? So I've got a little gate out front. That's actually going to be the new place. And I've got these uh, pillar courts. I've been doing them like this. I'm not sure how much I like that, but there's not much else I can do with them. Yeah. I initially thought that um, that was actually the way to store quartz. I was wrong. So yeah, um, uh, I'm, I built that gate up front. I'm going to put more on the sides, and I'm going to eventually build it up so it meets this floor here, which of course meets this wall and this glass top on this. The other thing that I did, um, I did a small experiment where I just poured lava all over the little pond here and then broke up all the stone and then poured it on the next layer and the next one and the next one and eventually this pond got out totally emptied. So over here, uh, this used to be a beach. I mean, I guess it still is. But the water used to start here. So this was water. Where, where I'm standing currently is water. All the way out to here, and obviously I've put this big glass wall here. And I've been filling this with concrete and um, pouring lava on it. So I've isolated this chunk of water over to here. I put a big piece in the middle just to start clearing that out, and that was a lot of it off. Um, See, so yeah, I've isolated this small chunk over here. And then over here, I've isolated this into a larger chunk, but I'm also trying to cut it in half here, as you can see. This actually goes down all the way to the sand. The sand is actually in its original state, more or less. I haven't touched the sand down there. Clear that out. God, I want a Rice Krispies treat. I get the strange urgings when I'm recording. Anywho. Don't happen to have any, do I? No. Damn. So yeah, I just cleared out this huge chunk of it, which is actually... It was actually kind of a fun project, and it's cool because it now leaves me with a wall of glass that separates the ocean from me. And it means that this former ocean chunk damn it's hoping that I could uh, turn on F3 like in Java Edition I think I did make a mistake by buying Bedrock but that's fine anyway um see so yeah, I've just taken out a chunk of the ocean this uh, tunnel that spills out to here has gotten a little more done. Um, it's kind of a long run, though, so I won't bother. Although I'm working on... Um, so this thing, the this outer wall goes out to 75, and originally I was going to put another wall out, out five more from it, but then I realized you wouldn't see this wall. So there wouldn't be a point to that. So what I'm doing instead is I've tunneled to this, and that's actually the top of... Yeah, this is the top of that tunnel. Anyway, um... What that is going to be is... Out of 100, 100, 100, you know, 25 blocks away from this... Sorry, 
course, got to die. Um, there's going to be gates at all four sectors. And then the gates are made of white glass. They're going to extend out and um, presumably incorporate other glass types. Black glass. Perhaps blue and green. Like uh, in the walls, but likely lots of black and gray gr glass. And I've also done a whole bunch of this. That she would have gotten away, huh? I always need more leather, so I often kill horses. So yeah, the wall's completed, and I've got two entrances on this now. Technically, this third one that leads to this little undergroundy part. But that isn't really relevant. Doo, doo, doo. I've gotten rid of more of the uh, water around here. So that is less and less. Draw your conclusions from there. And yes, I am a Team Magma member. Hashtag fuck Team Aqua. Um, let me see here. Let's put a little more in there. So this is what I'm working on now. Come on. Yes, it fits. Perfect. Perfect. Dump that in there. Boop -a -doop -boo. All right. So, yeah, I've been working on um, turning all that water into concrete. Because whenever you put concrete in water, it turns the powder into solid concrete. You know, the little blocks I'm using. And while the powder is affected by gravity and will sink like sand or gravel does, these aren't. They act like a rock. See? I really need to build a little push platform up here that'll knock me away. Just something made out of, like, um, pistons and slime blocks just to bounce me off of this thing. I don't know how high those can bounce you in bedrock. Um, but, like, if I can get more height before, like, heading out to anywhere, that'd be great. Hey, you can see this here now. I've tunneled out quite a lot more. And I uh, lost my altitude doing this. Pashoom. Um, I stopped, uh, cooking all my, all my cobblestone into stone bricks, and now all the cobblestone's just going into, oh god, what's it going into? Uh, cobblestone's going into that castle I'm building. Oh, you can see what I've been working on. Yep. Magnificent, isn't it? The tower is done. This great tower has finally been completed. It's 64 by 64, and it goes from the ground all the way up to block limit. All stone bricks. Like, I can't even put torches on this thing. So what I've been doing with it is, I've been, uh, I was, I was done with it and I was like, well, damn, what am I going to do with this now? So you might be able to see where I am. I think it's the bottom right corner. Yeah. Yeah. It's the bottom right corner. So what I've been doing is I'm, I've been building these wide ass, uh, paths in the hopes that they'll show up on the map of course I don't know that they will but they're 16 blocks wide so hopefully that'll be enough to show and they're also getting pretty damn long now This one is easily a couple of stacks long. 
Yeah, I'm at 822. It begins at uh, 961. So yes, it's rather long. And then I've got torches every four blocks out here. Though I have neglected to do it. There we go. I think my cat's in here making noise. My former cat, my new cat, is uh, a good boy. And yeah, that sounds like him being a little bastard. So yeah, I've uh, I'm gonna try to build these until they reach another tower, or at least until they reach zero zero zero, or no, not zero zero zero, until they reach um, the zero coordinate. Like, assuming that I'm running from... Assuming that this is the Z-coordinate, which I think it is. I'm going to go until they reach uh, Z0. But I'm also going to do this for the other towers. With uh, other types of concrete. And then I think I'm going to build... Um, paths with uh, my stone bricks, just so I have something to do with stone bricks. Stone bricks are very easy to get, so they're very good to build with, just because there's, they're so fucking common. Can't count. Too gay to count. So what with these being um, 16 blocks wide to extend them out to, to pour one stack of blocks into this is to extend this out by four. And considering I've got to go, well now, from 800... Yeah, we just touched 800. And we've got to go to zero. Well, 200 times four is 800, right? So it'll take me 200 stacks of blue concrete to get there. Oh boy. I've certainly done it now. I've done I've done big dumb projects in the past, but this one might be the biggest and dumbest. All because I wanted to show it I, I wanted it to show up on the big map. Which I don't even know if it is. Yeah, I can't see it. To my knowledge, something that is sixteen blocks by sixteen blocks on the biggest map possible should show up. Leastwise that's what I was told. the last little chunk of it. Let's see how far it'll get us. <laughs> if I would have fallen off there, I would have given up. I've been working on the other towers as well. Um, the most impressive one is the granite one. Unfortunately, it is also the furthest from me, so I will not be able to show it to you.
but that's okay. Yeah, it should be in the bottom right corner going up. So, God, where the hell is it? Am I going to need even more? Or should I just get a smaller map? Because that would certainly be easier. I would love to have map rooms of uh, all types of dimensions, though. That would be interesting, I think. How long have I been recording? 20 mins. So yeah, and I decided to drop these down a level because they're just so high up. That way if I want to put a minecart track on it or something, I only have to run out like... Well, still like 50 blocks or so. I don't understand why it brightens it. That makes no sense to me. It's really interesting to see all the topography from up here. Like, yeah, those rivers really do, like, swizzle and swirl all over the place. It's a technical term. Because when you're on an elytra, um, you kind of can't look down because it'll aim your character down and then you'll fall to your death. I'm going to date this episode, um, mostly because Minecraft has become a series that, like, I barely update. Because I almost prefer, like, playing it without talking to playing it while Let's Playing. I might stream it, but, you know. Um, cripes. So yeah, today this episode, WAP just came out. WAP. Sorry, I'm just focusing and not talking. Um, I recently built another pickaxe, but and try to combine it with this one to get more enchantments, but it doesn't work the way I think it does. And I really just wish that the Minecraft enchantment system was a little easier. Like, I feel like the game just doesn't want me to have better gear, and like... I know that you could get an Efficiency 5 pickaxe, I've seen it happen. I have a lot more. Wow. Also, mending is a very nice enchantment to have, but like the the enchantment itself becomes valuable. And so it's just kind of uh, annoying to like, oh, I got to fucking repair my stuff. Time to go sit in front of the spider spawner I built for 30 minutes. And I know that there are more efficient uh, mob farms, but I do not have access to any. I'm still working on um, establishing a good foothold in the nether. I've been coring out a massive amount of um, netherrack. Actually, you know, I can show you that. Hmm. Maybe next time. Yeah, I've been coring out a shitload of netherrack. To make a big, like, thing that I can fly into and out of. Actually, why don't I do that? And then I'll come back and build all my stuff into that. Tell on the episode, I'll show off my big dig project. Alright, 
Now I think that this is one of the ones where I've actually got a uh, a way to get back home. Nope, not that way. Okay, so it isn't this way. I guess it's this way. Hup, boop. Oh god. Oh no, oh god. <sighs> that was one of the most needlessly dangerous things I've ever done. <sighs> if I would have like cut I hate flying in the nether <laughs> I'm also nowhere near where I actually wanted to go god damn I hate this fucking place oh I'm so far from anywhere is so dumb. This way is the way I need to go. Yes. Yes, it is. Hey, I found it. And that horse I trapped in here is still here. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been doing this as well. Really uh, extending my lead into the lava. And continuing to drain it. Which is fun, I like doing that. I, I enjoy seeing the effect that I have on the world around me. It's one of my favorite things about Minecraft. Um, Cause yeah, I just particularly enjoy seeing how I, you know, change stuff. So yeah, um, it's pretty big. Goes down, what is that, like 30 blocks? And the intent is for it to empty out into the actual nether itself. Let me check my recording. 27 minutes, record a little longer. So yeah, it um, it's a big fucking hole in the ground. To be perfectly frank. And I think it spits out over here. Let me look around here. Yeah, that's actually one of the safety holes I just dug to see if it works. It does as it happens. Now I've got to struggle to find my way back. I hate this place. A lot of the um, a lot of the stuff in here I think was just generated with the old Nether, but I know that there is new Nether stuff in here because I saw a Bastion like 20 episodes ago. And I just wish that there were more biomes in my nether. Of course, what this means is I should have waited to start Let's Playing Minecraft until the update came out. But, you know. I make no claims about my intelligence, only that. Actually, no, I don't make any claims. Is it this way? I think it is this way. Yeah, it'd be nice to have more landmarks, but like everything in here is either the cobblestone that I put down or this shitty red rock that's already there. I mean, come on. I'd like to see different flavors of lava. I don't know what impact that would have or what it would do to the world, but it'd be interesting. 
think it's this way. Pretty sure, at least. The idea of like different flavors of lava would at least diversify the nether somewhat. I guess I mean different colors, but whatever. Sound quartz makes is actually really satisfying. And you get so many goodies from it. Is this where I wanted to go? Sure isn't. Well, at least now I can actually show you this. It's ended up pretty large, you see. You know what, I'll cut it there. So yeah, I've been Alfred, that's been Minecraft. Thanks, uh, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching.